plastic surgery community has been investigating facial aging for decades. We know how loss of fat in the cheeks, sagging skin, and decreasing bone volume all contribute to the way the face ages. But what about the upper lip? The lip and areas around the mouth play a huge role in attractiveness and in how we express our emotions. And this area heavily influences our apparent age. So what makes the upper lip age as we get older? The authors of this innovative new plastic surgery hot topic aim to find out. Using cranial MRIs, they measured lip length, soft tissue thickness, and the volume of 200 people's upper lips. Half of the people were young, in their 20s, half were older, in their late 60s or 70s. What the authors discovered was some significant anatomic changes in the older people's upper lips, including the distance from the bottom of the nose to the top of the lip. It had grown almost 20%. Wow. The upper lip's volume also went down about 20% in both men and women. The lip had lost more than half of its thickness as well, down 55% in women and 75% in men. Maybe it's because men talk too much. So as we get older, our upper lips get longer, thinner, and more deflated. And this certainly affects our appearance, our perceived age, and of course, our ability to emote. So keep a stiff upper lip. Plastic surgeons are here to help. And this new metric-based understanding of how our face ages will provide aesthetic plastic surgeons with even more information to help you obtain the best outcomes. So don't forget to always find a board-certified plastic surgeon at plasticsurgery.org today or whenever you're thinking about correcting your aging upper lip.